Unexpected Unboxing Retro Haul. This is a review by Orange Hedgehog 2012. Greetings fellow collectors, this is Orange Hedgehog 2012 and today I'm going to be doing a, un, well, not unusual but um, an unexpected um, Sonic haul for you today. Um, yeah, this is a package that um, I thought I wasn't really going to see. Um, I thought it originally got lost in the mail um, but it, it turned up like nearly six weeks later. So I was really uh, surprised and very pleased about that because I seriously thought that this had got lost in transit. A um, bit of a backstory here. Um, I won a few items um, on eBay.com um, about six weeks ago, nearly, from a seller in the US. Um, they were sending a load of like retro um, Sonic merchandise from their collection, I assume. And I managed to pick up a few items. And yeah, um, because obviously I don't know why, but um, the package took a lot longer than expected. Um, six weeks nearly, to be to be uh, precise. Um, so yeah, what happened was um, I was waiting for this package and a week passed and then two weeks, then three weeks. And, you know, I started to think, oh, great, lovely, this um, package is um, not going to turn up now. But I gave the the seller the benefit of the doubt because obviously, because it's like sort of peak season and it's like nearing to um, Christmas and whatnot, then I did expect this package to take a little bit longer. But, um, yeah, after a month, I just practically gave up and um, I got my money back. But today, um, the postman delivered me a very um, unexpected package. And so I was kind of like, oh, wow. So, you know, I'm an honest um, person. So I have sort of like said to the seller, look, you know, you know, the least I can do is sort of, you know, give you the money back for the um, the items. Um, they were really cheap sort of retro items um, that I picked up and um, I thought I'd show you guys today what I did pick up. So let's get started. So as you can see I have opened the um, the box obviously to make sure what the, the contents was inside. So yeah I have opened it beforehand but just to show you guys how long this actually has taken. Um, this was posted on... Um, Got the camera to focus on November the 6th so nearly sort of like six weeks ago so yeah I'm really glad that it has actually um, turned up otherwise this would be the first time that I've ever like got stuff from like America that's got lost so yeah so first up I got three items as I mentioned before I think I did mention and they're really cute ones at that Right, so first up, I got these pair of adorable Sonic slippers, and they are so adorable. Um, I didn't pay a lot for these, actually. Um, these were probably around about, like, $10, I think I paid, something like that. And these are from 1994. The eyes are a bit like, I mean, the right one's okay, the left one's a bit like... Almost like a bit derpy. <laughs> but um, yeah, as you can see, these are children's uh, slippers. And they've never been used. They're brand new, which is really unusual. Never been used. And on the soles, if I can get it sort of like um, prop up, you've got this really cool bright yellow um, fabric with these um, almost like um, grips studs at the the bottom and you've got this print design with um the very classic retro sign the hedgehog logo trademark and you've essentially got copyright 1994 sega all rights reserved all man-made materials made in china and the size is five to six child small and obviously the stock number now there's a bit of a shame there was actually no um tag inside but i think obviously the tag is sort of like obviously would have been the same as the actual what's found on the soles 
you've got this really cool interesting um almost like plastic um sort of triangle sort of plate um and you've got like obviously the stitching it's been applied to the actual slipper and you've got this really cool red and yellow uh, checkered background and you've got sonic uh in his sort of cross arms or sort of classic mode or style shall i say same again the uh very renowned sonic the hedgehog logo and you can see it's made from sort of like a um, vinyl sort of like plasticky sort of material and um, see if I can get as close as possible but the camera blurring as you can see from the flexion you've got this elasticated um, piece around the actual with the ankles obviously where the um, obviously you'd put the child's feet in and it's really cool it's like a yellow and sort of blue combination really cool almost like um almost like sort of woolly material and you've got this really nice sort of blue sort of plush material they've used almost like as if it was sort of like a, a plush toy and you've like got this design at the front obviously with sonic um you've got this obviously sort of stomach his chest area they've um done and his nose is really quite interesting it's almost like a pom-pom but it's really soft they've actually done some stitching detail to the actual slipper going all the way around so they haven't done just one side they've done like all the way around you've got the white sections to his eyes and these are sort of plastic as you can probably just about here um, but the way mine's a bit applied onto the actual um, I mean the right one's fine the left one's a bit like I suppose the, the right one's supposed to be a little bit higher it's very similar it actually reminds me of the, um, the Dakin sort of um, plush dolls his ears and what they've done they've done a very similar job to what the um, jazz wears did or what jazz wears did and it's really difficult the camera is not liking that at all um, let me try and um, oh there we go it's a bit better you can see the actual uh, stitching detail they've used sort of like um, it's almost like felt material and they've cut it to size and stitched at the um, around the outside yeah the camera doesn't seem to like that at all I've got the light on so you can see sort of like um, the detail a bit more and yeah it's really cool I don't actually know there's almost like an indentation at the back of the slippers so I don't know what originally would have been there but it's the same for the other side as well not so much but um, yeah really cool really retro and it actually follows on his um, on his back and obviously you've got sort of like felt pieces for his quills there we go. So you've essentially got sort of like um, one, two, three, four sections. You've got here and obviously these ones here. Really cool. I don't think I've ever actually seen any anything like this before. It's really cool. So you've got them really cool, cute Sonic slippers there and next up I got this really retro electronic piece move that bit of pretty material out of the way um, now this I originally thought was going to come in encased in plastic um, but obviously it didn't but you know it doesn't really matter to be honest this is a Sank the Hedgehog um, sight and sound randomizer electronic game it's actually quite weighty as well the batteries unfortunately have um, obviously died out because obviously this is like from 90 I think this is from like 93 or something so yeah essentially this is like if you unclip it you've got this um, marker sort of there you go with wipe off marker um, it's a electronic random light adventure game obviously you'd press the button and obviously all these lights would light up and you've got this sort of marker pen and it's quite interesting because and it can be difficult to actually get it out it's actually attached to the actual um, device 
so obviously if when you needed the pen you can just like take it out and obviously with the you could just wipe it off so it doesn't um stain and try to get that back in and it's going to be a bit difficult there we go so i've managed to get it back in obviously the sound will come out there and you've got obviously this clip and when you opened it you've got all these different games here and it's sort of made with quite a thick piece of like cardboard you've got all these different um games so the first one um is the checkerboard chase another one is terminal trap phantom phase tic tac trouble um sea of rotten eggs with the Eggman there, um, Speed Snag, and the last one is Orbital Obstacle, and then at the back uh, just gives you a bit of info, a bit of a sort of backstory. At the back, you've essentially just got like obviously the battery, what it is, and cautions, and just yeah, information about the battery. Runs a little bit dusty so get the camera back to focus so yeah i thought that was really nifty it's a shame it didn't actually come in case in plastic to sort of like protect it we've got this really nice thick piece of like gray sort of plastic and you've got the battery compartment there there's no actual sort of vocal sounds it's just mainly sort of just like um just uninteresting sounds really but um yeah i might have to check the um batches on that and this is the actual um card that it came on and as you can see uh it's the randomizer from ages for ages seven and up and batches included but obviously they've um died out many years ago seven exciting electronic book adventures and this is made by Golden. I'm not sure if it's made by Golden Bear. I know they do like sort of dolls, plush dolls. Um, and as you can see without the um, the light sort of ruining it. You can see, um, obviously press the button and the light um, chooses your next move. Win special moves when the bonus tune plays. And track your moves with the wipe off randomizer marker. That's really cool. Nothing inside at the actual back. Um, okay. It says, Be a freedom fighter. Help Sonic save planet Mobius and rescue his friends from the evil Dr. Robotnik. And you just got like a photograph, obviously, at how it works. And it just says at the bottom, You'll need luck and strategy to help the super fast, super cool Sonic beat Robotnik and swarms of SWAT. Uh, it just shows you other titles in the randomizer series and at the bottom you've got obviously the company name and this was made in 1993 which i think was around about when the dakin um dolls were made or the batteries so a really nifty piece of um retro um merchandise there so that's the sonic the hedgehog randomizer and lastly i think this is the best out of the lot these are so cool in a really cute um little box there these are a pair of sonic the hedgehog sonic uh jogger well we call them trainers in the uk but obviously in the us i think they're called like sneakers or what are called sneakers um yeah this is something that i just had to pick up it's so cool and in remarkable condition considering its age as well um as for a date um i think there was an actual date of the actual um underneath the actual box but this is um a pair of kids um shoes from around about 93 94 and it is in immaculate condition the actual box design is a little bit sort of like faded it looks a bit sort of faded but the artwork check out the artwork i just think it's amazing 
really cool you've got this like yellow and sort of orangey sort of um, red checkered background and the box considering the actual I mean the actual cardboard is actually quite thin very sort of fragile but um, still after all these years after 20 odd years or so it's um, kept really well so that's the lid and the actual shoes are so cute super cute and what I actually found remarkable was the fact that inside the shoes it still had the original um, tag which I thought was really cool um, these are a child's eight and a half and as you can see it's got the barcode and these retailed at $12.99 $13 which I thought was really cool I actually found these inside the actual um, the shoes so I thought it was a really nice um, surprise there now as for the the box design you've got this obviously Sonic in his sort of running mode and obviously you've got sort of like a trowel that's been left behind there is a bit of like I don't know almost like water damage or something on it but apart from that it's in really good condition almost like near mint condition you've got the very sort of um, classic almost like on the Genesis and Mega Drive the intro to Sonic 1 the title um, image there of Sonic same again on the other side at the front you've obviously got a sticker with the actual um, design of the actual shoes on the bottom I'll get the actual tag out the way at the bottom you've got made in the USA made from recyclable material and ah, 94 there we go now what I found interesting was the fact that the actual text was very similar to the actual plush uh, plus plush shall I say uh, slippers so it could very well be made by the same company so the hedgehog character and game elements are trademark of Sega 1994 Sega all rights reserved there we go and as for the actual shoes they've still got the original plastic um, loop that would have originally had the um, tag on the design is really cool though so cute and um, these can do with a bit of a wipe over because they are a bit dusty but they've never actually been used which I think is quite rare especially for kids shoes and they're made from like a plastic like almost fake leather which I think is called forks or something. Um, the actual rim is like black and white. You've got the size there, eight and a half. You've got this really cool holographic uh, design of Sonic, as you can hear. And if I move it, sort of, there we go. You can just about see. So Sonic is almost like running up to a ring and almost sort of going through it. Really cool. nifty there we go and you've got sort of like this underlay of red really cool at the back you've got um sonic the hedgehog chaos which is quite interesting really cool it's like a raised um embossed well no not embossed but like a ray like um erased, what am i talking about raised uh sort of design there You've got obviously this little um, piece of material that's been sort of folded, almost like um, a ridged like ribbon. There we go. And then the sides, all the way around. At the front, you've got um, Sega. And the power all different colours, really funky sort of colours there and I think this is called the tongue of the actual um, the shoes this one could be a bit awkward to get out but um, for the right one you can see the actual design really cool inside you've got the print design, it's like the hedgehog and the actual design is in blue around the inside 
there are some bits here and there where it's a bit like dirty but um I thought these are really cool funky um bits of merch um same again it's got the same sort of holographic uh design there of sonic there we go you can just about see it's not the greatest sort of holographic sort of 3d design but you just about see there really cool so yeah that's um pretty much it there on my little sonic there a retro haul that i picked up like six weeks ago so a while ago so yeah just um bring this camera back into focus so yeah guys um, i hope you enjoyed my little um sonic uh, retro haul there from orange hedgehog 2012 um stay tuned because i shall be doing more reviews hopefully very soon so in the meantime if you want to check out my channel then please feel free but as always guys take care of yourselves and i'll see you again soon for another review by orange hedgehog 2012 see you later guys